Hi, I'm Samantha Navinsky. And I'm Cynthia Trabor. And we are buyer's agents on the Allen Donald team here at Keller Williams Realty Charleston. And we wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about five subjects that we found some buyers may not know about before purchasing a home. So Cynthia, go ahead and kick us off. All right, number one, you do not have to put down 20% as your down payment. There are some programs where you put down nothing at all, some where you put three or three and a half percent down. If you still qualify for a loan, but you don't have any down payment money, there are down payment assistance programs. So there's a common misconception that you can only qualify for a loan if you put down 20%. But really that is just what you would be charged for. If you don't put down 20%, a lender's gonna charge you private mortgage insurance, which is essentially just to cover them until you get 20% of equity in your home. So there are options. Yes, there are. Number two, a lot of people don't know that you shouldn't go buy a brand new car before you're closing. Lenders don't like to see any kind of change in your credit or financial situation. Um, so by buying a car and financing it or going and financing some brand new furniture for your new house can be a red flag for those lenders and can actually make you unapproved for your loan. So pull off on any major purchases until you close on the house and then you can go buy whatever you want. Exactly. Number three, your first mortgage payment is actually not until a month after your closing. So say you close on March 15th, your first mortgage payment is actually going to be May 1st. This is a very appreciated cushion for most homeowners when it comes to perhaps you have one last month of rent or you want to be able to use that money during that time to cover your moving costs. So it's really nice to just know that you don't have to immediately pay your first mortgage payment. And then number four, a lot of people don't know how long it takes to close on a home here. Um, so in South Carolina, industry standard is about 30 days. It could be less, could be more, um, but that's typically what we see. It takes about 30 days to, you know, get all your inspections done, appraisals. If you are applying for a loan, do the application, get it through underwriting and approved. So it takes a little bit of time to get these things done before you're cleared to close. Um, again, every situation is a little different, but in South Carolina, that is kind of the industry standard here. Mm -hmm. And number five, the real role of a realtor. Samantha, you want to start us off? Yes. So everyone knows mostly realtors will go and find you the home, but our real um, advantage comes after you're under contract. But to give a little bit of insight as to what we do before then is we will help you find the home. But more importantly, we can set up showings for you to go and see those homes in person. We'll also make sure that um, you notice things that maybe you wouldn't notice otherwise. So we'll look at how old is the roof, the HVAC system, other major systems, and will you maybe need to replace these pretty soon after um, buying the home. And um, we also will look at resale value. So are there you know, cables behind the house or um, electric power lines? Will that affect resale? So different things that you may not automatically think of will bring to your attention so you can see it. Hey, is this house worth buying or not? And um, also we'll explain the market to you. Um, you know, what are the prices looking like in certain areas? How long is it taking to get a home off the market? So we'll give you kind of that insight on um, before and during your, while you're looking for these homes. Um, and that's just some of the value that we add. And then Cynthia will talk about the major part of our job. <laughs> So like Samantha had said, we're really here to make sure that you know from start to finish what's going on when it comes to talking about the market, talking about the pros and cons of certain homes. But what really happens once we get under contract is we are going to talk to you about pricing. We're gonna to talk to you about the contract terms and make sure that you understand everything. So talking about different comparables so that you have a market analysis to know, are you putting in a great offer on that home? making sure that you're not over buying, over paying for it. Um, and then also making sure that if you do not have someone in mind when it comes to service providers, we can link you up with our team of allied resources. We have home inspectors, termite inspectors, closing attorneys, contractors, all people that we can help you connect with in order to make sure that you're in the right hands prior to closing. Mm -hmm. And we also help with the paperwork, which can be kind of a nuisance. We make sure everything is signed, all the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed, so that when we come to the closing table, everything is ready to go. Really, our main job is to make the process as smooth as possible, problem solve when needed, and get you the house that you want. And we're here throughout the process, making sure to negotiate on your behalf, making sure that you have all the tools to, write, to make the right decision. 
But at the end of the day, really what we want is to make sure that you're informed, educated, you feel listened to and heard. And if you have any questions, we'd love to discuss the process with you, see how we can help you, your friends, your family. Yeah, we'd love to work with you. If you have any questions, our phone number, you can feel free to call or text 843-900-0155. Until the next one.